Hi, and welcome to the Jelvix channel. Recently, we saw this heated discussion on Reddit and got inspired. So today, we'll be talking about real-life projects executed with Svelte 5 versus Solid.js, their strengths, weaknesses, and where each performs best. And make sure to watch the video until the end, where we'll share a full checklist highlighting why and in which cases you should choose each of the solutions. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. But before we move on to the projects, let's have a quick zoom in on Svelte and Solid Unique capabilities. For example, here's what Jelvix experts pinpoint about Svelte 5. First, Svelte stands out as a framework that puts performance first, not by optimizing runtime execution, but by eliminating runtime almost entirely. How cool is that? Thanks to its compiler-first architecture, Svelte 5 transforms components into pure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript at build time, leaving no framework overhead in the browser. What also makes Svelte 5 unique is its runes-based reactivity model, giving developers explicit readable control over state management. Svelte delivers near-instant load times, even on low bandwidth mobile networks. This is thanks to its ultra-small bundle size, often just 4 to 5 kilobytes per component, and the absence of a virtual DOM. And topped with the evolving SvelteKit ecosystem featuring full-stack capabilities, Svelte 5 is more than just a front-end framework. It's a highly efficient platform for building modern web apps. But what about Solid.js? Well, Solid takes a fundamentally different approach compared to most front-end tools. In doing so, it focuses on fine-grained reactivity and eliminating the virtual DOM. Instead of diffing large component trees, Solid tracks dependencies at the smallest level updating only what's absolutely necessary when state changes. This results in near-native JavaScript performance during runtime. Another strong advantage, and one our Jelvix team particularly values, is Solid's React-like developer experience. It offers familiar patterns like components, hooks, and context, which means faster onboarding for teams already experienced with React. Solid also excels in handling dynamic component composition, it enables developers to build interfaces with live filters, user-generated widgets, and personalized dashboards without sacrificing speed. And since Solid's reactive system stays active at runtime, it's built to handle apps with continuous user interaction, unlike static-first frameworks like Svelte. But enough with introductions. Let's start with the first project, where one of our health tech clients approached us to launch a multilingual marketing platform to attract users across different regions. Their main goal? to drive organic traffic through SEO while ensuring lightning-fast page speed, especially on mobile. Plus, they wanted a solution that would allow their marketing team to update content quickly without requiring heavy developer involvement. For this challenge, our recommendation was clear. Svelte 5. Why, you may ask? Svelte's compiler-first approach allowed us to create static, SEO-optimized pages with an incredibly small JavaScript footprint. Most of the heavy lifting was done at build time, meaning that users would get clean, lightweight HTML with minimal runtime overhead. In numbers, we managed to reduce the JavaScript bundle size to about 4 kilobytes per component. Pretty impressive, right? Thus, load times were near instant, even on mobile networks. And the best part, Google's performance scores for this project were consistently in the high 90s. But it wasn't just about performance. Svelte 5's simple, readable syntax allowed our content team to move fast. Updating layouts, adding localized content, or adjusting SEO tags became a quick process, with no developer bottlenecks. And how about Solid.js? Could it handle this project too? Absolutely, but with some trade-offs. Likewise, Solid.js can deliver fast, SEO-friendly pages with a small bundle size, but its real strength lies in dynamic, highly interactive UIs. For a static, content-heavy platform, Solid.js would add unnecessary runtime overhead resulting in slightly heavier pages without meaningful benefits for static content. Solid.js simply shines in different cases, like the project we're about to dive into. For this, our Jelvix team worked with a fintech company building an investment analytics platform, essentially a real-time dashboard for portfolio managers. The product required live data streams, customizable dashboards, user-configurable charts, filters, and notifications, all updating in real time. The challenge here a smooth user experience while managing complex, customizable dashboards with dynamic data. And since the platform was expected to scale to support over 1,000 concurrent users working with live data, building a scalable and efficient architecture was a key part. No wonder Solid.js was the perfect fit for that. The Jelvix team knows this well. 
Solid.js ensures minimal runtime overhead even in complex, interactive environments, thanks to its fine-grained reactivity and zero virtual DOM approach. Compared to their initial React-based prototype, our Solid.js solution delivered up to three times faster runtime performance, all without noticeable performance drops or lags. On the development side, Solid.js's React-like syntax allowed our experts to speed up onboarding for the client's internal team, while still achieving a much higher performance ceiling. But wouldn't Svelte be able to handle it as well? Svelte ensures fast load times and clean output for content-heavy sections or simple dashboards. However, achieving the same level of runtime performance often requires more manual optimization. So there you have it, two real-life examples of using Svelte and Solid.js at their best. And if you're still unsure which framework to choose, check out this checklist highlighting their most common use cases. Shortly put, Svelte is perfect for fast loading, SEO-friendly content, easy content management, and performance-driven applications. But be careful, it has a comparatively small ecosystem, complex state management, certain SSR challenges, and limited tooling, which can be drawbacks for more complex projects. Based on this, it may serve well for various industries, from e-commerce to edtech. And as for Solid.js, it's great for real-time data streaming, high-frequency UI updates, interactive UIs, and performance-heavy apps. Yet beware, it has a steeper learning curve, an immature ecosystem, complex UI logic challenges, and limited SEO SSR support. With this considered, it might be a good fit for fintech, gaming, and other industries where these aspects are not that critical. That's all for now, but don't forget to check out another one of our insightful framework comparisons. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.